Hello, I'm Savage Jim, and this is my new review of set number 4202, the LEGO City Series Mining Truck. This set is from the 2012 series, and I believe it is no longer in print. It is now January of 2013. I was lucky enough to find this at a local Target, and it was on sale. Normally it retails for about $35, but they had it on sale for $25. Uh, so if you can find this set, go ahead and grab it up all you can. The set is recommended for the ages 5 through 12, and it is a 269 piece set, but unfortunately for a price of $35, it puts you way above the 10 cent a piece mark. But other than that, uh, if you're looking for a set with some value and a lot of good playability, uh, this is a set I would highly recommend for you. Uh, this set was a very straightforward uh, set to build, and it took me maybe about 20 minutes to do. Uh, it does it does contain, here's the instructions booklet, it does contain three bags to assemble a set. Each of the three bags contains one sub pouch with, uh, with the smaller pieces, for example, uh, the, uh, in the first bag. The uh, pouch includes the minifigure and his accessories. Going straight to the back just to show you how many, how many pages this is. This is all done in 74 pages. The set does include a lot, and so let me go ahead and begin with the minifigure. Uh, you only get one minifigure with the set. The Lego City Miner. There's his front printing. He has a, has a well, just a work shirt and a utility webbing here. His utility gear. Front and back printing. Supported by suspenders, as uh, his work belt looks like. And there is his face. No, he's not crying. That's sweat. And he's working hard. And he's uh, pretty ticked off about it, I guess. There's his rock hound miner's helmet. And comes with a forehead mounted flashlight which is simply just a clear stud piece that goes over that stud mount right there on his rock rock helmet there you go and put him up here because he's kind of hard to stand on this he also does come with this uh, stick of dynamite with an electronic timer on it which begs the question why do you need to fuse And you could actually grab onto that just like that. There you go. He also has a warning sign. Let's get a better look at that with the focus. There it goes. Blasting danger. And he also comes with these two rocks. I believe this is th these are the ore rocks that he is mining and he's also blasting and when they blast these things come apart and the two halves reveal inside gems and I believe uh, golden nuggets which these round studs are supposed to represent. Same for this one over here but I just put some random additional pieces that came with the set into this other rock. So he'll be probably pl very pleasant with this one, not so pleasant with the other. Now for the main centerpiece itself, the actual mining truck itself. Uh, as you can see, it's a huge piece uh, compared to the rock miner. He is very easily dwarfed. Here's, a wheel, here's the front wheel with him relative to the wheel. He's just standing right next to it. And that will easily run him over. Let's do a quick 360. I like this piece right here. That's a fuel tank. Here's the front end. You have a ladder for him to climb up onto. And a deck up here, you can see. 
And here's this driver's cabin. Got front light assembly, license plate, that's a sticker right there. PN and the set number itself 4202. Here's the other side. Here's a sticker on this side of the truck bed, which is of course the very same sticker on the other side of the truck bed. You even have lights up here on the two corner two front corners of this quarry truck bed. Another fuel tank on this side. And here's the back tail lights and of course the same license plate number. I don't see why you want to register this thing to be going on the street. I don't think it's street legal, but heck, I guess that's just an identifying unit number when it's out in the quarries. Now the truck bed of course tilts. Just like that. And you can see the chassis down there. Very nicely done, and it's also a very sturdy piece. I really do enjoy these wheels. Let's see if I can get a good focus. There you go. You can see the uh, lug nuts, and I guess that's the. I'm not sure what that little semicircle piece at the top is. I guess that's for for air regulation, where the wheels are self-inflating and deflating, and that's where the air will be released. Or, the, or more air is intaken to fill up the tires as you go along. Now let's put this over here centered on the camera screen so we can see a little bit better. The roof does come off on the driver's cabin and it's just held together with these four studs right here. We can take the stick of dynamite and there's a little clip right here for just that. Put that right there for him. The seats is just a smooth piece. I don't know if you can see that right there. So you don't need to seat down his butt to the studs. Just simply put him in. And he goes in loosely like that. And put the roof back on on his cabin and there you go you're ready to go and of course he gets the rocks from the quarry and when he's ready to deploy them so that they could be busted dumps them out puts a little stick of dynamite on him kaboom and out comes the goodies Happy Miner. This concludes my review of set number 4202, the Lego City Mining Truck. This is Savage Jim signing out.